Honey, my spirit guides told me many moons ago that only pretty people wouldn't choose to subscribe to me, and so far, I haven't been wrong. Howdy, girl. Hello, my beautiful Libra. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Libra, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you, Libra, is through the comments. As well, if you enjoy this weekly tarot reading today, uh, or you just enjoy my vibe, Libra, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, or if you just want to support a fellow Libra, because I'm a Libra Scorpio cusp, and Libras are my favorite complete bias. I feel like a Libra always knows another Libra, right? Uh, but yeah, be sure to also use your intuition when it comes to this reading, Libra, because remember, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, even if I am a fellow Libra. Uh, take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. Remember, these readings are reaching thousands, potentially, of people, so it's impossible for the analogies, the situations I use to resonate with everybody, right? So use your intuition, Libra. I believe my cards are here just to give you some food for thought, a perspective to consider, but never making a choice in your life. But with all that being said, Libra, let's finally get into your weekly reading today. So, ooh, honey, the cards just go all over uh, <laughs> when I say let's begin your reading. So, Libra, I pulled some tarot cards. Let's see, just so I could get a general vibe of what's going on for you guys. I don't know why I needed to think about that. I say it every reading at this point. But, Libra, you have the King of Earth or the King of Pentacles. You have the King of Fire or the King of Wands. You have the Sun card, uh, Archangel Uriel. So I always like to say, Libra, if you are open to working with Archangels, oh, my other ring light is like right in the way. If you are open to working with other Archangels or Archangels in general, Libra, uh, whatever you pra whatever your practices are, it's none of my business, but I like to just let you know, Archangel Uriel is calling, calling out to you this week, Libra, as well as the Queen of Water or the Queen of Cups. So fabulous reading for you, Libra, right off the bat, I just want to say, Something I do want to know is you guys, Libra, have been uh, having pretty good readings for quite a while now. There was a little bit of a um, dip there, Libra, of where I feel like some of you guys needed to uh, be by yourself for a while, Libra. Uh, I am gathering just with this setup here, uh, especially with these two kings here, Libra. It lets me know someone that's finally taking like a more assertive role now. They're kind of like claiming their power almost, right? Because when you think about the kings, the kings are the ones that are uh, building an empire, right? They're very much so um, going forward with a vision, trying to create. And then you have this beautiful balance with the queen of water here, the queen of cups, where it lets me know, Libra, that a lot of you guys are in this place of, um, how would we say... It just lets me know that uh, you guys are now starting to feel, regardless of like, I kind of feel like these two are connected in the sense that now that you are feeling emotionally fulfilled in some way, like you're feeling, I can't help but feel like something has filled your cup a little bit. I don't feel like, maybe it's from a certain action, right? But I feel like something panned out in your life, Libra, into now where you are feeling good, or at the very least, feeling good about a situation, even if it's just with yourself. And that's what's allowing this moment. And then with the sun card, maybe you got a peak of the sun, right, Libra? Maybe you got a peak of the sun, and then that's what's really jump-started everything for you. But that's just all the intuitive messages, Libra. Let's get into your actual general messages with these. Just give me a moment to see how we are going to... Thank you. I feel like these two are starting with this. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's start your... <laughs> Don't mind me, Libra. I'm a little bit quirky when it comes to tarot. I like to see it as puzzles. So... You have the Queen of Water. We'll start with this, with the Queen of Cups, because Cups is water energy. This card says, relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition and in caring for yourself and others. So Libra, at this time, I do feel like whatever this relationship is, again, whether it's with yourself or whether it's with other people around you, something has, like, hit you deeper than normal. Something has made you, like, feel, like, appreciated or loved or... I don't know, just with this Queen of Cups here, there's just this sense here now of a sense of freedom, I feel like, Libra. It's because of this Queen of Cups that uh, experience that I can't help just feel like this is almost like removing a blockage that you didn't even know you had at one point. So let's look at these clarifiers, Libra. All right, so we have the World card with the Lovers card 
and then the page of swords in the reverse so i like this energy libra to have this being this is by the way i don't think i ever said clarifying for your queen of water libra so i like this energy a lot because this lets me know almost like because the page of swords normally when it's in the upright this is a card of where there's no really good if there is communication it's not very good like it's perspectives aren't being spoken of very well or properly or in a in a mature manner i guess not saying anyone's immature in this situation just like the communication could be better but or like someone's just like watching from a distance right and it's just like they want to communicate there's something going on turning inside them but the actual decision to communicate or the actual decision to put yourself out there in some way and speaking your truth libra um that's also being reserved so when you see this in the reverse libra i love this energy a lot lets me know of quite literally the opposite of where it's like very very confrontational energy i am going to be honest so if you are afraid of confrontation libra um oh well i'm going to be honest like get over it <laughs> maybe that sounds heartless but truly i feel like this confrontation is what really gives you the sense of release right so even if it's like in the moment you dread the conversation right or you dread whatever it gives you the sense of release and the lover's card and the world card whatever it is you just become more in tune with your purpose you become more in tune with the path that you're leading on and you know and then it just like naturally goes into those king's energies uh right libra aware yeah, but like, because the world represents the cycles. I, didn't get, I realized I was getting ahead of myself. The world represents cycles. And so it's interesting how these clarifiers with the Queen of Water, the Queen of Cups is really complementing your other King Energy cards because it's like, once you have that cup filled, once this confrontation happens with this Page of Swords, right? In the reverse, the Lover's card, I'm gonna just show this in the upright so you can see the artwork, but these two cards here, let me know of just like a decision being made and realizing where it's like, I don't know, it just feels like you just have a better sense of yourself, a better sense of what it is you want to do next because like now you're just feeling emotionally good. Internally, I feel like you're on the, uh, uprise is that the word for it <laughs> like i feel like a lot of you maybe you know this is a sign for some of you libras you're coming out of a depression right very much so it could just be something like that it doesn't have to be about a uh, specific situation libra so i keep talking about those kings honey right let's get into this king of earth or this king of pentacles now because you get into that experience with that queen of water now this card says a successful time confidently accept the opportunities you're offered in the midas touch so what does the midas touch represent first and foremost because this is really what will help hone in the message for you libra the midas touch is if you're not aware of it is where it's like anything that you do anything that you touch it it's kind of like i feel like there's like a lore to it correct me if, let me know in the comments libra i'm sure someone knows i'm not claiming to be an expert at this but i feel like midas was like a person and like whatever they touched turned to gold and so that's kind of like the thought process behind the king of pentacles is like the king of pentacles is in their process of building up an empire really making those um long-term stable decisions that really <laughs> you know, investing in your future, right? And really building a stable empire, whether that's with finances, whether that's with um, just emotional stability, um, regardless of what it is, King of Wa- uh, <laughs> I was looking at the back of this deck here and I was about to use this deck to um, shuffle clarifiers for your King of Pentacles, Libra. And I noticed the back of the deck, we have the King of Wands here, also the Queen of Wands. I'm gonna leave these into the deck just because, um, but something I just wanna know, it's like very passionate energy behind this. And I know I got off trail a little bit. So right off the bat, it's showing to me, Libra, at this time, because of that fulfillment with that Queen of Water, with that Queen of Cups, now it's almost as if like everything that you've been doing, Libra, even, or maybe you're doing something else, but I feel like it's, what you've been doing libra now because you get like you're feeling good about yourself even the same things that you're doing it just is like you're living in your truth more it just feels like you have more passion to it like so it just i don't know it's one of those things of where people probably probably would look at you libra and be like you you're you look different even though there's nothing going on and you just have a glow to you libra you're just people are noticing like a shift in you and really a really beautiful um it's almost just like a beautiful transformation, right? You have that successful time. So yeah, this is really just leaning into such a positive reading. So let's look into this. Ooh, randomly. Huh. 
All right, Libra, let me show you these cards. Let's crack this. We have the Queen of Swords here, Seven of Swords, Five of uh, Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. Uh, so this is interesting, Libra, because it's almost like showing to me you're getting motivated by um, something. It's almost as if like, let me just give an example of what this would kind of exude. Um, it would be as if someone, uh, you know, let me use myself as an example. It would be as if someone left a comment being like, oh, Valka, you're terrible at tarot readings. And then I let that uh, sink into me and be like, you know what? Let me prove this person wrong. I know I'm not terrible at tarot. Let me actually post even more. Let me push myself and push the content that I already do. I feel like that's kind of what's happened here, Libra. It's something has kind of like churned for you where it's just like now you almost realize like what matters in life and putting your distance between those that like the things that bring obstacles to you you're putting distance between it putting up those proper boundaries because with the seven of swords situation um it's just this energy where you just don't feel good in this like in this conflict where it's just like because it's with this this is just heavy conflict anxiety such just heavy like ugh energy of where is constant this is probably dare i say what was filling your cups up before is that queen of water whereas before you had like like that cleansing experience through that confrontation you know this is probably what was initially filling that cup libra and so i see you the best way to go about this you know to continue this king of pentacles energy is setting up boundaries and um naturally everyone should set up boundaries but um identify what this five of wands here is and i feel you would know what it is i feel like libra you just would have to admit it to yourself right because the seven of wands here and this five of pentacles this is anxious distrustful energy where you feel like something is up or where you are just like it just feels like almost you're just this is almost like i'm going to be honest libra you're like motivated by some type of negativity and where it's very much so like i'm i'm gonna prove you wrong right so i like that a lot you know and it, you know it goes into beautifully this king of fire this king of wands for you libra because this card says focus 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 communicate with a vision and be a leader advice from someone creative so i feel like at this time you know, let me just give like in a scenario for some of you Libras, you know, maybe if you were in a situation where something just wasn't feeling great, uh, maybe if in like a workplace or maybe just in like your family environment that just wasn't feeling right and you didn't know how to really manage it. You know, you have, the, I see some type of conversation happening um, because of this page of swords, uh, you kind of do feel like it's kind of included with this, you know, some type of communication happens and or some type of closure experience happens, right? With something that you felt very like that was just weighing you down. Um, and yeah, it's just, I'm trying to express how, <laughs> how this is really trying to come off because it's like, I don't want to say it's something negative because I don't feel like it's negative, but it's like something inspires you where it's just like, it just like pisses you off enough or it's just something that just has been really holding you back has it, that has its claws in you. I feel like that page of swords thing, even if it was like a specific moment that happens, I feel like it was like a constant, like, I don't feel like it was just like one specific thing where Libra, you were, <laughs> you had like a bad comment and then you were just like, I'll prove you wrong. I feel like this has been like a consistent being like, I'll prove you wrong. Like, you know, your family, maybe like your parental figures or something, or people always spoke of, always underestimated you and called you like a failure or made you feel like a failure. Now I feel like there's just like one particular moment now where it, you have that closure because the strength card lets me know it's been a consistent thing as well. I feel like you have like your final straw moment and then you're just like, you know what? Full speed ahead. Does that make sense, Libra? I know I'm getting in such tangents with you guys, but I, it is such a, like, I feel like it's just so important for like <laughs> you guys to have like a very clear understanding of like how, I'm, how I am at least translating these cards because I feel like it's just such a, it's just interesting how this is. I've never seen a dynamic like this, Libra. So I'm going to pull some clarifiers with this King of uh, Fire, this King of Wands. And the cards already come flying out, honey. So let's see here. Yeah, Libra. So we have the High Priestess card, Seven of Swords following you with the Magician card. So quite literally, again, it's honing this message, Libra, of the Seven of Swords where something just like 
kind of just feels like blah like you this is all motivated literally libra something pissed you off or something has really like turned something in you libra <laughs> that has you being like i'll prove you wrong with this high priestess card and this magician card either you're tapping into further something that you already have been doing or you know that seven of swords is five of wands thing that i said that you needed to identify libra this is something that you kind of aren't surprised by if you have that page of swords moment so i don't know maybe this is just more so a sign libra as like <sighs> there's something that you're right about right there's something that you were right about that you had your suspicions along and then something that you kind of already knew um was a thing you kind of had a final moment where you're just like ah okay there's no question about this like whatever like full speed ahead now um whereas before maybe you were just feeling in your head about it and maybe you felt felt like you were like the crazy one right maybe you were just like oh let me just give this another chance like maybe my family will just understand me or what have you no libra i feel like now you're just in this place of chasing after your son right <laughs> write down the number two for numerology because 19 equaling to 20 right, it would be two for numerology so write that down remember archangel Uriel. but yeah libra i acknowledge like how like manic this reading probably is coming off as but true it, i don't know it's just interesting i'm not gonna even apologize for <laughs> libra um just because i feel as if like i'm kind of just matching y'all's energy or maybe that's a cop out libra so i'll read off this card the sun card is the best card in the deck this card says, happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success, have confidence in yourself. You're getting that confidence, Libra, because of this closure experience. I kind of still see this in a way of where you finally, like, maybe see, like, the final, like, yeah, I don't know. It just feels like something that you were trying to make work for so long, and then you had a final strong moment where you're just like, all right, done right whatever that done looks like for you um full speed ahead of where you just want to prove someone wrong clarifiers i got though five of wands again the strength card and the page of wands so again it's really it's interesting how you keep having the conflict cards following you libra because then it just really hones in this message of like working it's like through this conflict that really you know very much so a shadow work card um whatever you know it was, if that was insecurity that was holding you back libra where you didn't want to put yourself out there before and then you just had a moment where you're just like you know what everyone's feeling freaking insecure i might as well just go out there and do it right um you get this fresh start right with this page of wands and it feels like something that whatever like whatever it is that like you start putting your energy into libra that inspired this i really feel like it's because of this really like motivated insanely motivated i'll prove you wrong energy that you create something really beautiful so <laughs> Oh my gosh, Libra. Such a beautiful, like, general part of your reading. My gosh. I do apologize that it was just so uh, all over the place, but I, f I hope that I got to express the message uh, as clearly as possible. So, Libra, uh, I'm also going to be doing the your, your, y'all's love in general, or uh, career reading as well. So, we're going to be starting with love. Give me a moment to write down uh my time stamp though for later so if you're interested in hearing about love my beautiful libras let's get started all right the cards already came out quickly for you so libra we have the chariot card the five of wands following you the two of fire and or the two of wands and the renewal card <laughs> Can we just appreciate whatever the, your obstacle was, you it overcame it, Libra. This has been such a huge, I guess it's showing to me like such a huge hurdle that you finally have passed through, Libra. Whatever that hurdle was, you finally made it through that final stretch of your gauntlet. Um, and because this is just like, again, similar to your general reading, Libra. For love, I just feel like you're, this is just all new energy. See, so, yeah. <laughs> like, I can't help but feel like, you guys, Libras, you guys are just like letting go of being maybe even so much in your head. Maybe there's no outside source to this energy for you. And it's just all about you. And finally, just releasing your inhibitions and just letting yourself be you. And so that way you just open yourself up to love connections, social connections. It just feels more so now, Libra, that you, everything that you're doing, everything that you're exuding just feels more authentically you, just feels more just feels like the less like the shields aren't nearly as up i feel 
um, Libra in some way. And it's just is allowing you to push yourself more and just the energies, the people are receiving that are receptive towards this high vibrational energy, this motivated energy. So now, Libra, let's get into those that are interested in hearing about their career. Let's see what's going on for my Libra's career. Okay. Libra, come on now. So, speaking of cards following you, Page of Wands, or the Page of Fire, the High Priestess card, and the Dreamer card, or the Fool card, Libra. In terms of career and financial, this is beautiful, Libra. Again, there seems to be just co this common theme of whatever release that you get, whatever closure that you get from the beginning, all facets of your life just get beautiful, right? And I know it just sounds like super fluffy reading, but truly, like the meaning, of, I'm just speaking the meanings of these cards and how they're like being displayed, right? I already said the Page of Wands is the uh, fresh start card. News of an exciting new endeavor, right? Use your originality and ingenuity. The High Priestess is all about that intuition. So confirms to me what I was saying before, Libra of like, it's stuff that you already have been doing. You just are like opening yourself up more to it or maybe just approaching it differently. And the Dreamer card, the Fool card, right? A leap of faith following your dreams and unexpected opportunities. So very powerful. So, you know, again, it's like the sense of like the more you open up, when like when you start opening up, it seems as if life starts opening up to you and the opportunities start opening themselves up. You're really being received well, Libra, by practicing as much vulnerability as possible in whatever it is that you're doing do not let that page of want or swords experience no continue to hinder you whatever that obstacle is for you that like once you overcome that it's full speed ahead into such beautiful stuff libra so yeah that's the reading that i have for you libra if you enjoyed this tarot reading be sure to let me know in the comments below give this video a like and subscribe and then also libra i do readings for all the zodiac signs not just yours so if you have a friend that's into tarot or even if they are not Libra, send them one of my videos and maybe they can find a horoscope message that resonates with them as well. But until next time, Libra, I love you so much. Bye.